vectors in two dimensions. There are two questions, oh, there's four questions altogether. First two questions. First one, vector C is represented by the column vector, this one here, minus two, four, then minus three C is equal to, well, this is very simple. So C is equal to minus two, four, minus three C will be equal to, we simply multiply each one by minus three. Minus three times minus two, and minus three times the four, and that gives me six minus 12. That's your column vector. So you're just multiplying by a scale, just multiply inside the column vector. Number two, the vector from the point A minus two threes to B four minus one is. Now we'll use the diagram first to show how to do it, and then we'll use the column vector approach. So now we'll just go across here, and then go down. It's like a gradient, really. And it goes from minus two to four, that's a total of six units. And from there down, that's a total of, from three down to minus one, four units. So that would be the vector AB would be simply six, four as a column vector. Now to do it without the diagram, we can say that uh, going from there to there, we can say that uh, it'll be 481 minus minus 2, 3. And that becomes 4 minus negative 2 and minus 1 minus 3. That should be a minus 4, sorry, going down. And that would be, see how the column vector fixes it up? So that becomes six and again, negative four. Number three, if B is the vector two, negative one, or the column vector two, negative one, has an initial point one, two, that's where it starts from, then the end point is, which one is it? Okay, so what we need to do is we start here and it tells us to go out two, one, two, and down one. So we go out two, that point would be equal to one plus two is three, and down one from two, one. Now using the uh, column vector approach, we're starting at one, two, and we just add on two, negative one, and that gives the column vector one plus two, two plus negative one, which is three, one, as before. So you can see its approach is very quick. Now, number four, this is a really important concept. This is the magnitude of a vector. Now, to work at the magnitude of a vector, it's just actually, we're going to use the distance formula. So a, b, the magnitude of a, b, is equal to the square root of the difference in these values. So that'll be minus one, minus three, all squared, plus one, minus four, all squared. And that gives me the square root of minus one, minus three is minus four, it becomes 16. And this becomes minus three squared is nine. And that's the square root of 25, which is five is the magnitude. 